Welcome back to Google Guru. If you haven't joined us before, um, just as a reminder, Google Guru is an informational video series where we'll teach you how to perform everything from basic to pretty advanced tasks in the world of Google Apps. Today, we're going to teach you how to set a vacation responder. Setting a vacation responder is one of the easiest things you can do on Google Apps, and where you're going to want to start is in your Gmail inbox. From your Gmail inbox, look to the top right hand corner of the screen and you'll see this socket icon, or at least that's what I like to call it. Click on the socket and then click on mail settings. There's a lot of things you can change on this screen. Um, you'll find vacation responder towards the end of the screen though. So as you can see, you can toggle it on and off. Um, just for an example, I'm going to turn it on and say that I'm going out of town for all of next week. So you can see I've set the subject to tell people I'm out of office for the entire week. And I'm sending a message to you know tell them a little bit about where I'm going. So there's two other options below the message. Um, by default, these are not checked, and anyone who sends you an email will get your auto response. You can choose to only send the auto response to people in your organization, or to only send it to people in your contacts, or send it to both of those sets of people. Um, and your organization is going to be, for example, anyone with an at guruvideos.com email address. And uh, people in your contacts, that can be anyone outside of your domain, but it'll include everyone in your domain. So contacts will include people in your, everyone in your organization. So I'm only going to send it to people in my contacts this time. Um, that's it for a vacation responder. Hit save changes and you're good to go. You can find a lot more videos at googleguru.com and we look forward to seeing you again. Thanks.